Much. Well, state lawmakers reacting after the governor signed a bill slashing Nashville's Metro Council signed that bill into law. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien heard from both sides and plenty of lawmakers say they are not happy. It's one of the most blatantly unconstitutional and dramatically irresponsible pieces of legislation that this legislature has advanced. Democrats are furious after the Senate passed a bill to slice up Nashville's Metro Council, then the governor signed it just minutes later. It's genuinely depressing to see the legislature come in and stamp out those people who are literally just trying to help their community. But Republicans say this bill actually helps Nashville. We're not punishing this mayor at all. We're rewarding the mayor. Every mayor in the nation in the world would rather deal with a smaller body. Republicans have argued in committee this bill is applicable statewide, even though Democrats say it clearly targets the capital city. Furthermore, Republicans say more council members means more inefficiency. There's a reason we're judged by 12 of our peers in a jury. There's a reason I think Christ walked with 12 disciples at the end of the day. But ultimately, what we know is as that group size increases, the ability of the group to make positive and effective decisions decreases. Democratic lawmakers noted that Sumner County, where House Majority Leader William Lamberth's district is, has over 50 council members distributed throughout. Lamberth sponsored the bill. The sheer hypocrisy of that, given that Sumner County has 55 locally elected officials. Um, they, their, their county commission has 24 members, which is obviously greater than the m amount um, uh, that they're trying to enact into law to represent the entire city of Nashville. Since the bill only affects metropolitan councils, it doesn't apply to 92 of Tennessee's 95 counties. And of those three leftover counties, only one is affected by this bill, Metro Nashville. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Also keep in mind this law takes effect immediately. So if Metro Council adheres to it, it has until May, which is the next city vote, to go and redraw its line.